your screens. That is not James sitting in the seat beside me. Yes, it is. Good morning. I'm James Dunn. How are you? <laughs> James, you've gotten a little grayer since I'm last week. I'm not James Dunn. I'm a lot better looking than James Dunn. But well, good morning to you, my lovely co-host. How are morning, you this morning? Good morning. TGIF. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. Never know what's going to happen. You just never know. There's always surprises on yes. the show. You got a last minute phone call? I got a last minute phone call this morning. Somebody told me that James might be ripe to be locked in a broom closet. So after wrangling him into the janitor's closet, I have taken over the big chair. He so better look out. I am drunk with power at the moment. <laughs> I have finally made it to the big chair. You have, you have. Mm -hmm. So Hurley, what's been going on at the incubator? I hear there's some exciting stuff happening, more than you've been on to talk about. More than I've been on to talk about, this is true. Um, something wonderful really happened with one of our tenants. It's actually your next door neighbor. Our neighbor, um, yes. And you didn't know about this really until just this morning, right? That's right, that's right. Um, yesterday afternoon, um, the Country Music Hall of Fame, it was actually a curator from their museum, mm -hmm came to collect a camera that one of our companies was donating to the CMAs. Um, this particular camera was owned by a very famous photographer that had a studio in Nashville. And this camera was used to photograph over like 8,000, I think was the number, country and western music stars over the last three decades anyway. And um, he was actually recruited to come to Nashville by Minnie Pearl. Minnie Pearl made some kind of pit stop in Chicago where he had a studio at the time. Mm -hmm. And from what I'm given to understand, Minnie Pearl had very strong powers of persuasion. She, she um, must have. Uh, she must have, but she uh, talked this fella into coming to Nashville to start taking these headshots of celebrities, country and western music mm -hmm. stars and gospel stars. And so he did. He, he moved to Nashville and got underway, and evidently he was the photographer of choice. His name was Fabry. Fabry, yes. Fabry. And um, he evidently was the photographer of choice for uh, the Grand Old Opry and really all the country music community in mm -hmm. Nashville. So the um, Country Music uh, Hall of Fame got a grant to digitize all those pictures. Wow. So when the, our company here, the Deerdorf Camera Company, LF Deerdorf and Sons, they still manufacture those same cameras. Mm -hmm. it, it's different people. I mean, Barry and Monica Cochran are the tenants in the incubator. They're producing the Deerdorf camera now. But the Deerdorf camera has been around since the early part of the last century. So when he got hold of this camera he knew what he had right so he called up the folks at the country music hall of fame and said okay i know you're digitizing all the pictures that were taken with the camera how would you like to have the camera itself to put on permanent display could you imagine their reaction i i can't imagine being on the other end of that phone call i mean if Me i were either. a curator for that museum and somebody calling and offering especially considering this was not a small camera no. it sure is not a instamatic no. or anything no, no. Yeah, it was bigger really than this table right. here. It, it's, a it's a very large, large camera. camera. It's not what we're used to, oh, little no, cameras no, to no, take no. pictures. You know? um, for those of you in the audience, um, the kind of camera we're talking about is one of the old accordion type cameras. Right. So the lens folds out and you have the baffle in between and you know, you put your head under the black sheet and you're looking at an image on the back of the camera that's actually upside down and backwards, but it takes somehow some talent to take a picture like I that. I imagine that took a lot of getting used to. I right. mean, I don't do much good with a digital Me camera neither. looking at the exact picture, yeah. but these were upside down and turned and around reversed. and yeah. reversed. So, I mean, Amazing. I imagine you had to. That's a whole different skill set exactly. than I'll ever have. But um, that's the kind of camera we're talking about. Only this one was huge. I mean. Mm -hmm the size of a large cardboard box. But um, I would have loved to have been a fly on the wall when that curator got the call saying, right. hey, would you like to have this camera? And, and to say have it. And know? just have it. They yeah, donated, they donated it to that. the That's Hall of remarkable. Fame. What I think is cool is, is we'll all be able to go up to Nashville and see this camera on display. And I, I actually touched it. Have, I fondled yeah, it Yeah, you won't good be allowed to touch it then probably. Won't be allowed you? to touch it then. You, yeah. I found out in, at the Smithsonian you get in trouble for that. Oh, but, um, oops. <laughs> yeah, oops, my bad. But um, 
we'll be able to go up there and have a look at that on display knowing that we've fondled it good here That's at right. the office. Got to look through it. And <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, he did. He let us look through it and you actually modeled I'm, at the I time. I was the model. Uh -huh. Stacy was. was the model at right. the time. We all got to look through the back and it, I, to say it was a little discombobulating is <laughs> right. that's being generous. You right. were upside down and you were actually turned the wrong way. So, right. I mean, well, when Cheryl modeled so I could look through it, I was uh -huh. like, whoa, that is <laughs> definitely different. Uh -huh. you know? As she's talking about Cheryl Barker, who's with Serendipity CB yes. at the Innovation Center, she modeled for us for a moment so we could all have a look through the back of the camera and yeah right and she's redheaded so I mean that made it even weirder. needless to say we used the females because we knew who would not break the camera <laughs> this is true <laughs> yeah me or any of the other guys James yeah. especially he yes. would, would have just broke it all to pieces but, but we're going to bring out some more information on that do a press release yeah, and so yeah. forth. as a matter of fact I think Deerdorf is going to be a guest next week we're hoping to yes we're hoping uh -huh. to have that all arranged because that'll be a good excited. thing because yes. Barry Cochran is a storyteller now, yes he'll and, be able you know to he was on the show it. and brought one of his cameras and talk uh -huh. about it and we really didn't get that. to finish we ran out of time so anytime that you're talking to Barry Cochran you can run out of time to talk this is true the man is a story teller yes I am a rank amateur by comparison <laughs> <laughs> But he does, and he he has a passion for his product. He really I mean, does. that was a hobby he really before he, mm -hmm. he took and, that, and, and he really knows. And true, I mean, that's very true. But considering all the pieces that had to come together mm -hmm. for them to be able to have that company now, because everything that they have, the the parts, the uh, copyrighted material, mm -hmm. the intellectual property, all that stuff all came from different places. Right. They had to build that company and put it back together piecemeal from where it had been sold off over you know, 100 years. Right. So yeah, you had to have a passion for that particular product yes. to be able to put that well, company back together. he's got the history. I mean, he's always studying, researching. He is. He is you know, constantly. For him to find out the history on this particular camera and mm -hmm. do his research to find out. And to know it when he saw it. Yes. I mean, you know, the, I mean, they're beautiful cameras, but I mean, they all look alike to me. Right. But, you know, he looked at that one and knew what it was. So. Right. That's. There evidently must have been some little something that was unique right, about that camera right. that clued him into what right. its history was. Just another great story of another a day in the incubator. Story. Yeah, it is. Another <laughs> yes. Thing. We need we, to have our own reality show. Don't that's we? right. Yeah, that's right. That one, I know that a be, production guy. We might be able to. Ah, uh, you that do out. know one, don't you? I that do. you have a little bit of pull with. I do. This I can, could happen. You know, I have you to unlock watched, the right? unlock the broom closet that you locked him in, but. Okay, if I can find the, <laughs> I, I think I have the key. You think? <laughs> I wasn't real worried about it when I threw him in there. I'm sure so. you weren't. No. He's probably pushing at the moment of silence. Yeah, I could see that with James, although I don't know. Most of the he's time, he's the silent. one causing the racket, so. Yeah, no. he's not too silent, is he? Not very, not very. Well, Hurley, we've got a great lineup today, so we really I don't do. want to take much time because we've got mm -hmm. an exciting show today. We've got we've a wonderful got, lineup. Some yes. folks with some really interesting stories. Interesting coming stuff, on. and I don't want to. I don't want to give it away. No, I let's wanna, get to it. Let's take a break and mm -hmm. come back, and then we'll let the folks see what we're talking about because you're not going to want to miss it, folks. No. Nope. Refill your coffee cup and stay tuned. We'll be back in just a couple moments. We must be having some trouble. We must be. <laughs> Maybe someone fell asleep back there, Hurley. Uh -oh. Town Americana, where trucks are big and bold, and a handshake is firm, and your word is gold. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens is a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here. Doesn't matter. Buying a truck from Don Lefford in Athens will save you at least 2000 bucks. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens a $2,000 drive worth making. I'll take that drive every time. At Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. For personal assistance, walk right in or come up to our convenient drive through Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at a time. On the anniversary of the 9-11 terrorist attacks, Cry Out America gathers Christian believers at county courthouses across the nation to cry out in prayer. 
Each of us has a reason. I believe in the power of prayer. I'm doing this for my kids. I'm praying for my friends. I can't do it alone. Spiritually, man, this country is falling apart. But I've seen God move before. This September, we will unite once more with one purpose, to focus prayer on awakening every state, every county, and every heart for Jesus Christ. We need to turn. Turn. Return. I need to turn. Humbly. To God. What is your reason? Go to awakeningamerica.us to find a prayer gathering in your community. Then join us at noon on September the 11th. In front of your county courthouse. Together, we will cry out to the Lord. Kyle Motors. 802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland is the place to find quality pre-owned cars and trucks. Kyle offers on-the-spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast, phone 790-7100. Are you having trouble filing for disability? Seems no one is concerned about your pain, the waiting, the denials. While some representatives will meet with you in court, we will meet with you now to discuss your plan. We'll review with you the same file that the judges will see. Call us now, Social Security Law Center at Logan Thompson. You're entitled to better. This segment of Tennessee Valley This Morning is brought to you by Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland and 2120 Chapman Road, Chattanooga. For your next new or previously owned vehicle, make it Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the better way to buy. Welcome back, folks, and we're here with our first guest, Sandra Couture, and Sandra has a unique story today very and is unique. here to do something very mm -hmm. special. So we were really excited when we found out about this and could have you on, and we want to welcome you today. Thank and you. Um, tell us a little bit about why you're here today. Um, December 10th of last year, I had a really bad car wreck. I was on my way to work, and I started hydroplaning and went underneath the back of a semi truck yeah. and it was it's very amazing that i'm still here today and the good, good lord was with me that's for sure mm -hmm. absolutely now in this accident what happened to you just to kind of let our audience know the impact um i took in and went underneath the back of it and i blew his back tires broke his back axles and i busted my head you could see my skull I broke my femur in two spots, and I broke my pelvis, and I broke my collarbone. Wow. Wow. And the paramedics, uh, they had to, you were entrapped in the cars the way I understood yes. it. They had to sort of get out the big can opener and pry you out. It was very, very scary. I but, can imagine it was. Um, the steering wheel was kind of turned like this and into my chest. Um, my car was, you couldn't even tell what it was. What was your car? It was a uh, blazer, trailer blazer. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you couldn't tell it. It was all smashed up when it got done. Yes. Oh. Miraculous. So you're thankful. I'm to very be here thankful. Today. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you were just mentioning right before we came back from break that your daughter was not in the car with you when the, the accident no. happened. That's a blessing as well. Yes, that was the best thing. Mm -hmm. That she wasn't. Now she was how old at the time? She just turned five months old that day. Really. That very day. 
Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Talk about being looked after from above. That's right. Uh, yes. Definitely. That's right. Yes. Definitely. And, I'm, and you know, I'm imagining this vehicle going underneath. Uh, yeah. I was. That's a It was going thought. the other way, and I was going around a big curve, and I could see myself drifting. Mm -hmm. And I just like slid right underneath it, and then I spun around, and I thought it was a big old field, but obviously it was a ditch or whatever. Mm -hmm. So obviously it must have been a, a bad weather day. It must have been raining yes, a lot. Yes, it's been and raining, and um, it didn't help that I didn't have very good tires. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we can say we've all been there from time <laughs> yes. to time. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> well, were you knocked unconscious, or um, were you awake through the whole thing? I was awake through all of it, but the impact, I uh, blacked out. But as soon as my car came to a stop, I was awake plus I had everybody hollering and screaming. I do remember as I was turned sideways in the road I could see behind the 18-wheeler and I seen it and I said Lord I know I'm about to hit this 18-wheeler just please stay with me. Mm -hmm. And I seen all the cars coming over the railroad track I said Lord please do not let these cars get any closer to that 18-wheeler because I'm going underneath it. Mm -hmm. And I remember all the people coming to me and hollering to make sure that I was okay. So you can pretty well remember the whole event. Yes. Wow, that's remarkable. That's what I was thinking. It's mm -hmm. enough to begin the accident to to recollect all the uh -huh. events. Uh Sure up enough. Like, sure enough. And to know that you're coming in contact with this 18 wheeler. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. she undoubtedly knew she was mm -hmm. going to have impact with that. Yeah, there yeah. was there was nothing to stop it. Um, I tried. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, but when but you're hydroplaning, was, you don't have. Mm -hmm. There was control. nothing there to um, to stop me. I just knew that it was just to hold on and go for the ride and uh -huh. <laughs> hope for the best. Well, right. at least you know the name to call on while well, yeah. that was happening. Yeah. Yes, I do. Um, well, I don't want to take any more time because we're going to bring on the the paramedics that were there that day when it happened, so that you can. Did you have something you want to say to them, and yes. and they can give us a little more mm -hmm. detail on everything and what they do. So we'll take we'll take another break, folks, and we'll come back just shortly. So refill your coffee if you've already drank that in this little segment, and grab a tissue box because I was gonna I'm say, here bring with one her. To the TV. <laughs> Definitely, and we'll be back in just a moment. Americana, where trucks are big and bold, and a handshake is firm, and your word is gold. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens is a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here. Doesn't matter. Buying a truck from Don Lefford in Athens will save you at least $2,000. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens, a $2,000 drive worth making. I'll take that drive every time. At Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. For personal assistance, walk right in or come up to our convenient drive through Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at a time. On the anniversary of the 9-11 terrorist attacks, Cry Out America gathers Christian believers at county courthouses across the nation to cry out in prayer. Each of us has a reason. I believe in the power of prayer. I'm doing this for my kids. I'm praying for my friends. I can't do it alone. Spiritually, man, this country is falling apart. But I've seen God move before. This September, we will unite once more with one purpose, to focus prayer on awakening every state, every county, and every heart for Jesus Christ. We need to turn. Turn. Return. I need to turn. Humbly. To God. What is your reason? 
Go to awakeningamerica.us to find a prayer gathering in your community. Then join us at noon on September the 11th in front of your county courthouse. Together, we will cry out to the Lord. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland is the place to find quality pre-owned cars and trucks. Kyle offers on-the-spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast, phone 790-7100. Are you having trouble filing for disability? Seems no one is concerned about your pain, the waiting, the denials. While some representatives will meet with you in court, we will meet with you now to discuss your plan. We'll review with you the same file that the judges will see. Call us now, Social Security Law Center at Logan Thompson. You're entitled to better. This segment of Tennessee Valley This Morning is brought to you by Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland and 2120 Chapman Road, Chattanooga. For your next new or previously owned vehicle, make it Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the better way to buy. Welcome back, folks, and we're here with Sandra once again, and then we've got our two EMTs that were there the day of the accident because Sandra has something special she'd like to say to them. So I'll, I'm gonna let Sandra talk at this moment. And I just wanna thank y'all so much for being there. And y'all don't get enough credit at all for what y'all do. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you. Now, when you all arrived at the scene, tell us what your role was. Well, when we first got there, there was somebody that had already climbed in the car and was help holding her still uh, to keep her from moving around. And um, basically, we couldn't get her out, so we just had to, to wait until the fire department, who did a, a great job getting her out with the, the car like it was. Mm -hmm. um, basically, we just tried to treat her as best we can while she's in the car and, and hold her still, you know, mm -hmm. continue to do that until we can fully immobilize her to get her out. Help our, our viewers at home is maybe we've got a couple photos and mm -hmm. kind of let them take a look All right. at, at what has what took place that day. Um, just kind of explain to us there what the well, basically, um, in these pictures are mostly the fire department doing their job, you know, uh, trying to gain access so we can get her out. Um, myself and Joe were inside, we really can't see us. All you can see is the bright yellow every now and then inside okay. the car that's us so you're essentially um, in the vehicle right you, so cleveland fire department we're assisting right. you in this oh yeah and they did a great job getting getting us access so we could get her out okay all, all the steering wheel and all that was behind that fireman there in front of that fireman was pushed up over her legs and all and on and the doorway was up over so there was no way of removing her so all of our advanced treatments and everything that we had to do, we had to do inside the car. Okay. And at that time, you're not knowing the extent of her injuries or anything? Right. We, we couldn't even see her leg, really, with everything pushed down on top of it. We knew she was hurting pretty bad. Mm -hmm. That's where she was complaining of all of her pain. And um, until we got that leg visible, we mm -hmm. got all the damage off of it, you know, sure. that's when we saw how bad her leg was. Okay. Gotcha. Now, this is just... This is everyday routine for you. You, you folks are out assisting. I won't say everyday routine. Yeah, I won't say everyday, but this is just part yeah, of your. It is, and 
we get we do get a custom, but then there are those few cases where they're a little bit more special. And um, you know, this actually she's a family member of one of our guys, okay. so it that kind of hits home a little bit more. So. Sure, sure. We run twenty two thousand five hundred calls a year, and those are medical calls, trauma calls tr such as falls and traffic accidents, strokes. Uh, we we hold the highest level training that the state of Tennessee has, uh, our service does. We work hard to take care of the public and do the best that we can for all of them. Well, we certainly appreciate it. I know Sandra especially does. And um, we appreciate all you do for the community. Thank you very because much. Because you reach all of Bradley County, correct? Yes. Mm, yes. Right. Now, Sandra, how has your life since, we were talking a little bit before we come back from break, about, you know, after being in the accident, what impact has this had on you? It's, it's actually been really great. I mean, just every day is a lot more, I think more of it than what I used to. You don't know how good life is until you about lose it. And I can say if it wouldn't have been for all the firefighters that was there and all the ambulance guys that was there, I, I wouldn't have made it. Um, it was just, it was too bad. And the Lord was with me through the whole thing. Or, I mean, people die every day and not know it but I was bleeding everywhere and it took them a while to get me out but they got me out. Like, <laughs> probably seemed like even yeah. longer for you. Yes. As you were pinned there. Really I, I had a problem. Um, I know I knew I was really trapped into my car and they had these lift things I don't know what y'all call them but when y'all was lifting the car up I could just picture my car just falling all to pieces and all y'all being in there and getting hurt too and it scared me more. Um, it, it was just really scary, all of it. I'm just blessed to still be here today and be able to enjoy life and everything that I do. Mm -hmm. And I just wish these guys got more credit for everything. <laughs> Right, they're everyday heroes. Yes, they are. Right. You're well, patients like you are our reward. You know, we get thank yous, but they're not that often, and uh, we are thankful that you've asked us to come and and everything. I, I was blessed to actually be able to meet y'all, not you know, be out of the world. <laughs> to actually meet y'all to remember everything. It, nice absolutely absolutely and then you know to have the opportunity like you say yes to, to thank them in person yes for what they've done you're more than welcome now for the both of you have you always wanted to be paramedics is this something you thought you would no <laughs> I mean I I don't know about Joe but um, I was in the military and okay. I got my first taste of emergency medicine when um, I was able to go a little bit beyond the um, first aid aspect in the military and that's where I got that first taste of, of being an EMT and then I got my EMT license while I was out in the military okay. and then when I got out of the military come home and got my license here okay. so so it wasn't was it something that you said as a child when I no. grow up I want to <laughs> <laughs> No, it was just something that I guess fell in my lap. Uh -huh. So so to speak. Once you experienced right. it. And what about you, Joe? I guess mine's a little different. I grew up in the generation of the there was a television show Emergency with Squad fifty one. Okay. And I lived in an area of high traffic accidents and I guess I've seen a lot of traffic accidents near my home and deaths and all. And I guess that got me started. And then I went to work at an industrial plant and they needed some help uh, in the first aid section. And the nurse asked me if I'd like to go to school. So I went to school and got my EMT. And I started volunteering at Bradley County. And uh, then I got hired full time. And I've basically been doing that ever since. Uh, and uh, and we, we have a high tenure of our personnel where the normal career of an EMT paramedic is 10 years, we have people who have 33, 35 years. Uh, most of our personnel are greater than 10 to 15 years. So we have a lot of experience. And then 
a lot like David has uh, law enforcement uh, experience and we have multitude of, uh, of uh, talents within the department. They've done a lot of schooling in, in different areas. Mm -hmm. Have a very experienced group of EMTs. <laughs> That's wonderful. Yeah. That is wonderful. And you know, again, you know, even for myself, I can't thank you. We've, you know, had to call once with our son had a seizure, and you know, he was out, and we had to call 911. And we live 20 miles from town, so waiting on the EMT to arrive was uh -huh. a little scary for us. But you know, once they arrived, so helpful, so wonderful. And, um, you know, we were not in the same situation that Sandra was in, you know. He had regained consciousness and so forth before they arrived. But we still appreciated their services while they were there. You all are a wonderful group. Thank you. Well, we try to treat families as if they're our families because we never know when the emergencies. And we've had it in our services that we've I've transported my own father and mother. Uh, we've transported wives of our coworkers. So we never know. And we, we have kind of a, a, a opinion that we do this every day, but when we go into someone's home or someone's a car accident or something, that may be the only time in their whole life that they ever have contact with emergency medical services. So we want it to be a positive memory and, and all. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, one, one saying that, you know, we see people on the worst day of their lives. Right. So, You're not there on a positive. Right. You know, so I mean, you have to think of that. Sometimes we have to step back and, and say our perspective is not their perspective. So. Right. Well, we appreciate you folks being on the show today. We thank Sandra for bringing her story to us. We, you know, it's a shame that she had to go through that, but for us, for her to be able to come and, and thank you, still be here today because of the work of you folks is very much appreciative. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, folks, stay tuned. We'll be back just shortly with our next guest and stay tuned. Town Americana, where trucks are big and bold and a handshake is firm and your word is gold. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens is a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here. Doesn't matter. Buying a truck from Don Lefford in Athens will save you at least $2,000. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens, a $2,000 drive worth making. I'll take that drive every time. At Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. For personal assistance, walk right in or come up to our convenient drive through Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at a time. On the anniversary of the 9-11 terrorist attacks, Cry Out America gathers Christian believers at county courthouses across the nation to cry out in prayer. Each of us has a reason. I believe in the power of prayer. I'm doing this for my kids. I'm praying for my friends. I can't do it alone. Spiritually, man, this country is falling apart. But I've seen God move before. This September, we will unite once more with one purpose, to focus prayer on awakening every state, every county, and every heart for Jesus Christ. We need to turn. Turn. Return. I need to turn. Humbly. To God. What is your reason? Go to awakeningamerica.us to find a prayer gathering in your community. Then join us at noon on September the 11th in front of your county courthouse. Together, we will cry out to the Lord. Kyle Motors. 
802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland is the place to find quality pre-owned cars and trucks. Kyle offers on-the-spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast, phone 790-7100. Are you having trouble filing for disability? Seems no one is concerned about your pain, the waiting, the denials. While some representatives will meet with you in court, we will meet with you now to discuss your plan. We'll review with you the same file that the judges will see. Call us now, Social Security Law Center at Logan Thompson. You're entitled to better. This segment of Tennessee Valley This Morning is brought to you by Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland and 2120 Chapman Road, Chattanooga. For your next new or previously owned vehicle, make it Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the better way to buy. Welcome back, folks, and we've got Susan Matskin with Allied Eye Associates with us today. Welcome, Susan. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Tell us a little bit about Allied. Allied Eye is an ophthalmology practice in Chattanooga with a satellite office in Grandview, uh, Grandview Hospital in Jasper. Um, and we have been Allied Eye Associates for about 10, 10 years. Um, the doctor at Allied Eye is new to Chattanooga but not new to being, being an ophthalmologist. He's been an ophthalmologist for close to 30 years. Hmm. So well experienced. Very much <laughs> so. Mm -hmm. Clinically in the practice as well as um, surgical skills. Okay, great, great. Now, what kind of services do you provide? Um, at Allied Eye, really we provide vision for a lifetime. Um, okay. We work with young children who have eye muscle disorders where, you know, maybe, maybe a cross-eyed kind of vision. Um, all the way up through um, dry eye, itchy eye, watering eye, and things like glaucoma, serious diseases of the eye, diabetic patients, diabetic eye, um, and um, Dr. Matskin does a lot of cataract surgery. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, I've heard that you are the Cataract Center of Chattanooga. How did you come by that moniker there? Um, well, what, you know, after he spent about 10 years doing just LASIK surgery in mm -hmm. um, the Atlanta area, greater Atlanta area, um, and then the economy changed a little bit. He diversified back into general surgery and just started seeing a lot of cataract patients um, and became very fascinated by the advances in cataract surgery. Mm -hmm. So he um, has done, I don't even know how many, 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 many hundreds of multifocal lens implant cataract surgeries, which is a great advancement where patients who have never, uh, may never have seen without glasses since their children can suddenly, in their, maybe in their 60s, see for the very first time without glasses. They can read and they can see distance, both, uh -huh. um, with the, that lens implant surgery. So the results are so exciting for him. Sure. My wife used to be with Services for the Blind out of Chattanooga wow. as part of vocational rehab, mm -hmm. and it really seems like there had been so many advances in, in eye care over it really Absolutely. over even just the last five years I mean it seems miraculous and there doesn't really seem to be a cutoff age um, you know my grandmother had the cataract surgery when she was in her 90s mm -hmm. and fared very very well but of course like you say mm -hmm. after that she was able to throw the glasses away she didn't need them anymore but uh, I mean what are some of the recent developments in eye care that that our viewers may not be aware of. Um, you know, there are um, a myriad of corrective eye surgeries that people can have. Not everybody's a candidate. Um, it could be based on age, it could be based on shape of the eye, shape of the lens. Mm -hmm. Not everybody's a candidate for traditional LASIK surgery. Um, so there are many other um, op opportunities out there based on what their, you know, their personal needs would be um, for people who do want to get rid of glasses. Um, Definitely cataracts are something exciting to talk about because of um, 
the different lenses that have just recently been developed. And the preference of Dr. Matskin is really not to let the cataract advance in the eye till somebody's 90, mm -hmm. because as soon as there's a trace of a cataract, um, the cataract um, surgery will be covered, the basic surgery will be covered by your insurance as soon as there's a trace of a cataract um, evident. So there's no reason to wait. It's much harder and harder on the eye and harder on the person to allow those cataracts to develop and thicken and harden over time. Um, <clears throat> so basic cataract surgery um, just is um, putting a lens in the place, a, a clear, clearing off the lens and putting in another lens. But, um, but like I said a little before, not to be repetitive, the great advances are the premium lens implants that people can get nowadays. Um, and for you know the amount of money you would spend on maybe one vacation, <laughs> um, it, you can have great, amazing vision. Mm -hmm. um, we had an event, can I talk about that sure. quickly? Okay, mm -hmm. we had an event the other night. It was our first um, premium lens club event. And so patients that have already had the surgery came together and we celebrated that they chose Dr. Matskin to do the surgery for them. And he gave a talk about the, the um, advances in cataract surgery over the years. And um, we had a nice dinner and piano player in our office. It was really, really a lovely event. There's some pictures on our Facebook page if you get a chance. Um, but people talked, they gave testimonials. Um, they just stood up and talked in front of each other. And one lady was a golfer, and she just, her golf was her passion, and it was starting to become a chore. Mm -hmm. she, she didn't know which pair of glasses to put on, this pair for putting, this pair for distance, this pair for sunny, this pair for shady. And um, as we age, we can all relate to that. Um, and she had the, the multifocal lens implants, and just, she can't say enough about how it's improved her golf game, but improved the quality of her life. And that's just so exciting to hear. Well now, okay, for the viewers out there who may be like me that's not sure of what you were just talking about there as far as a multifocal lens, okay. what exactly is that? So it's actually a, um, a lens, it almost looks like a contact lens, but there are some little squiggles on the ends, I guess, <laughs> um, that's literally implanted on your eye and it is adjusted to your vision. So it's almost like having... Um, when you wear glasses and have the trans the lenses that are um, for distance and far progressive lenses, I'm uh -huh. sorry, I couldn't think yeah. of that for a second, that's implanted in your eye and it's a lifetime of vision after that of seeing without glasses. Wow. Um, there are, you know, there are some patients that need a little tweak with a laser tweak afterwards. He usually anticipates that and will let you know ahead of time if you'll need that. Um, and, and that, that's what it is. It's just an amazing uh, improvement. There are several different kinds of lenses that can be used that, you know, he chooses the one that he thinks would be the best fit for you, for mm -hmm. the shape of your eye. I mean, they really look at the topography of your eye now, too. The testing has advanced so much as well. They can, just like you can look at Google Maps, um, you can look, it's almost like Google Eye. You can see all the topography of the eye, so he knows the exact shape, depth, dimensions. That's remarkable. Wow. I mean, that's really amazing. It I is found amazing. That fascinating, yeah. And that, and that is good for life. I mean, as you age, you're, it doesn't change it, with your eyes. Not that we've heard. I mean, for the most wow. part, it is, you know, once it goes in your eye, and I would say, you know, you're usually in your 50s to 60s when, you know, you're starting to maybe develop cataracts. Sometimes people in their 70s, that really, it depends. There's a range. Um, but once you start developing that cataract, um, this is really a lifetime improvement. Wow. That is. Now, that's remarkable. That's it, what I was thinking. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean... I've heard them talk and go on about it, but hearing the patients, we have testimonials on our website, I've heard patients talk, but hearing them talk uh, uh, to each other and the enthusiasm that it generated in the room, it was just so heartfelt and genuine. It was, mm -hmm. it gave me a whole nother level of admiration for the work that ophthalmologists do. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Now you keep referring, you've referred to your Facebook and your website. Why don't you give those to the folks in case they're sitting there thinking, I okay, want to go cool. check it out. And we, and we do have a couple of specials. Do I have time yes, for that too? Yes, okay. absolutely. So our website is simple. It's www.alliedeye.com. Okay. Okay. And from there, you'll see um, lots of information links if you have questions about whether it's LASIK or cataracts or any diseases of the eye that I've mentioned or more. Mm -hmm. um, it's very informational. And there's also links to our Facebook page, which is... I think kind of a fun Facebook page for a serious profession. And we have a um, Twitter account as well as a blog. The other thing that I'm um, sort of proud about um, for Allied Eye is that Dr. Matskin really talks about more holistic um, wellness too, not just treating 
the um, the the disease, you know, as you age, you go to this specialist for one thing, the specialist for the next thing, and you're taking this medication, that medication. Um, we really like to talk about um, overall wellness and making good um, proactive choices for as we age, which um, his blog um, has a lot of information about. And this is one of the specials. It's um, kind of promotional things that we're doing, and it's to no, no profit to us. I don't know if you can see this, but in partnership with the East Hamilton YMCA, because our primary office is right near there, mm -hmm. um, we are doing a six-week mini course called The Secrets to Staying Young. And it's on Thursday evenings, starting in September. September the 12th is the first course. And it's um, $25 if you're a YMCA member and 60 if you're not. The money goes right back to the YMCA and provides the participants a six-week um, trial membership for full, full access to the YMCA facility. Oh, wow, okay. cool. So, um, and the course should be really interesting. We've got six different experts to speak at each session um, about health and wellness. Um, we have somebody from Earth Fair um, who will do some cooking demonstrations. Um, we have a dietitian, uh, another, uh, Dr. Matskin will speak at one session. There's another doctor, Dr. Broyles will speak at another session. Um, some holistic people, uh, a yoga, a session with yoga and massage therapists there. So it should be very interesting, mm -hmm. uh, as well as an opportunity to do some group exercise and to network. Um, we're building in time for people developing relationships so that when the session's over, they can kind of have people to call to help them stay on track mm -hmm. with the healthy choices that they've learned to make. Those relationships are important. It is good to know. It is. We have one other special. If I have another oh, sure. yes, moment, you do. okay. You do. Okay. Um, we have been running um, for the last couple of months till the end of this month um, a special for our local heroes. So um, twenty-five percent off LASIK um, or other corrective eye surgery, depending on what your needs are. We okay. wanted to just acknowledge and thank our local heroes, our firefighters, police officers, EMT, um, and of course our military. Okay. Um, and that is, uh, on the LASIK alone, it's over $1,000 savings, 25% off LASIK. And we're competitive with the prices in our area um, for LASIK surgery. So I just wanted to let you know that. That's also on our website, more information about that. It's only running to the end of this month, but if you call and you reference the LASIK for Heroes special, we'll still honor it. Okay. Wow, okay. that's wonderful. That's that great is. for our local heroes, especially in light of the last story. Exactly. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> yes, I was excited to I talked to them out there. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Yes. That is, that is. That's what I was just thinking. Local hero we had a uh -huh. local hero show. Yeah, yeah so it's sure definitely enough. you're offering a service to that's them. why James did not want to be here today. He knew this was gonna be a tear jerker. Tears are flowing uh, backstage. That's uh, right. Yeah. But it was a very emotional show today. Great story. So yes. whatever, you know, small things that we can do to support. Mm -hmm. You know, both of these are sort of community support kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And um, we really are excited to be in the Chattanooga area now. Mm -hmm. We're loving living here and being active here. Um, and we just want to be a part of the community and, um, you know, hope to see all of you. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Now, tell the folks out there where your offices are and the phone number where they could reach you. Okay. So our um, our main office is on Shallowford Road. Um, it's where Gun Barrel Road hits Shallowford Road. Um, well, I guess that's about exit two or three off 75. I'm directionally yes. challenged. <laughs> um, You're not by yourself. Right? Yes, exactly. Well, I'll just, I have to think I'll about where they are. Um, but we're 7405 Shallowford Road. And our primary phone number is 423-855-8522. And you can make an appointment for either office uh, if you call that main number. Speak okay. to one of our lovely receptionists in the front. They'll be there to help. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And, and give the folks, again, give them your, your website because okay. that's where they can really get more information yes. on your services as uh, well. Yes. Our website's, um, I, I think it's quite um, full of, chock full of interesting information for anybody who's um, considering either coming to see a different eye doctor for the first time or just looking to do a little research to see. Um, other things that he does, um, we get a lot of Google searches for eyelid lifts. So it's called blepharoplasty. That's another um, surgery that he does. And um, can I say one more sure, drag on him sure. for another right minute? <laughs> um, just so you know a little bit about him, he was trained originally in South Africa as, um, as an ophthalmologist, um, worked there for a couple of years as a doctor and then moved to this country went to, um, had to retrain for five years at Albert Einstein College of Medicine where he um, did a fellowship in neuro-ophthalmology. 
So he's um, a board certified ophthalmologist and one of the very few that have training in neuro ophthalmology. Um, so um, he's also partnering a little bit with some of the doctors at Erlanger for um, support in that area because that's a very specialized area as mm -hmm. well. Um, so our website is www.alliedeye.com, www.alliedeye.com. Great. Well, Susan, we thank you for being here with us today and sharing that. I learned a lot. I don't know I'll, about you, I will Harley. have to say, yes, I did. But, I mean, some of the advances that you were talking about sound absolutely amazing. Um, and the doctor who sounds like that, he is very well qualified to be carrying out all those different kinds of advances. He is. Um, I, I, do I still have another minute? Yes, you okay. sure do. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've never been on a TV show like this before, so I don't want to um, overstep. But I, if I can end with um, a little story that somebody at our uh, multifocal um, premium lens night that we had the other night said. Uh -huh. um, she said this about Dr. Matskin, and this is just really cool. She said, you know how you can have two children with the same IQ, give them a violin each, and give them the same teacher to teach them, and have them practice for the same number of hours, and how one is just a little bit better. Mm -hmm. And that was her view about Dr. Matskin, how blessed we are to have him in the Chattanooga, Tennessee area, because he's just a little bit better. Uh -huh. Is that wrong for me to say no, that? I'm, no, I'm repeating the words of one of his mm -hmm. patients, and yes. I just thought that was such a, an amazing thing for somebody to say about right. him. Right, that so is. So we are, yeah. you know, we're happy to be here and, um, you know, just hope that um, people will take advantage of having um, such a wonderful doctor in our area. Absolutely. It's great to have him in the community. It is, especially someone, mm -hmm. you know, seems to care about the community. You exactly, know. yeah, obviously. He's, he's reaching the out. things you've been telling us about, he's certainly involved in the community. Definitely. And tr it is true, too. I mean, no matter what line of work that you're in, there has to be a little bit of actual talent that goes into it to go mm -hmm. along with mm -hmm. all the school learning and whatnot. Absolutely. So he obviously has that talent. Absolutely, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, well, Susan, thank you thanks so for much being for here. having me here. And we were happy to give you another minute, another minute. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you were totally fine. Okay, awesome. <laughs> thank you. Well, folks, stay tuned. We'll be back in just a moment. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland, is the place to find quality pre-owned cars and trucks. Kyle offers on-the-spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast, phone 790 Seven one zero zero. At Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. For personal assistance, walk right in or come up to our convenient drive through Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at a time. Town Americana, where trucks are big and bold. And a handshake is firm and your word is gold. Donald for Chevy Buick GMC in Athens is a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here. Doesn't matter. Buying a truck from Don Ledford in Athens will save you at least $2,000. Don Ledford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens, a $2,000 drive worth making. I'll take that drive every time. On the anniversary of the 9-11 terrorist attacks, Cry Out America gathers Christian believers at county courthouses across the nation to cry out in prayer. Each of us has a reason. I believe in the power of prayer. I'm doing this for my kids. 
I'm praying for my friends. I can't do it alone. Spiritually, man, this country is falling apart. But I've seen God move before. This September, we will unite once more with one purpose, to focus prayer on awakening every state, every county, and every heart for Jesus Christ. We need to turn. Turn. Return. I need to turn. Humbly. To God. What is your reason? Go to awakeningamerica.us to find a prayer gathering in your community. Then join us at noon on September the 11th in front of your county courthouse. Together, we will cry out to the Lord. This segment of Tennessee Valley This Morning is brought to you by Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland and 2120 Chapman Road, Chattanooga. For your next new or previously owned vehicle, make it Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the better way to buy. Welcome back, folks, and Hurley and I once again here once to again, wrap up the to show. Wrap it up, but what a show! Exactly. I, I will have to say I didn't know before that we got started what a touching story that first story would be with it's, Sandra. I, I was mean, tearing up with her. Tell and, me about oh. it. I know that's why James wasn't here today. He didn't want to cry. He's on a crybaby. He didn't yeah. want nobody to know it. <laughs> uh, but she nearly had me there for a while. We're going to have to put a that's, big old box of Kleenex here in the middle. Well, I'm thinking, you know, young mother. Mm -hmm. with a small child at home. You know, imagine what is going through this girl's oh, mind I can't imagine. in this I accident, can't imagine. knowing she's, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, imagine the thought, she knows she's going to hit that 18 mark, not knowing if she's going to make it, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Them. I mean, as you know, mm -hmm. I, you know, I used to be on the other end of those 911 calls um, back in another lifetime, and even, even over the phone, even if you're a, a dispatcher or a communicator sitting on the other side of that call, I mean, you get just as tensed up and ramped up as they do on the scene. Right. And I, I can't imagine what it would be like to, to be in those kind of circumstances mm -hmm. and really basically having to put your life in the hands of complete and total strangers. Right. But we're just lucky here in Bradley County. To hear the experience. I really am. I had no idea. And to have the, the kind of men that we have, men and women, that um, are doing what they do. Right. I totally respect and commend Absolutely. them for what they do each day. All of them, from the person that takes that call all the way down to the paramedic that's arriving at the hospital. Exactly, so. exactly. But they obviously all work together well or she wouldn't be here right that's now. That's right, that's yeah. right. And, you know, perfectly fine perfectly I mean, to fine. walk away well, from Well, she looked like the... she'd never been in any kind of accident to see her sitting here. You'd right. think that nothing like that had I mean, ever I'm happened imagining to her. that's crushed on her, everything. Oh, I'm sure, and, oh, I'm sure. It's amazing, it's amazing work of mm -hmm. our... Yeah, amazing is right. And well, I think we're out of time. I think we're out of it time. It goes They're by so us, fast. It did. I appreciate mm -hmm. you being with us, Hurley. Hey, it's been my pleasure. I've okay. absolutely had a blast. We might have to kick James out another time because we've had a great show without him. Let's do. Let's Don't do. Don't tell him, folks. We'll lock him in a closet we'll, again. We'll lock him up again. Mm -hmm. All of you folks out there have a wonderful and safe weekend, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>